Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are back, a TBR double SF show, which simply means the Big R Solution Sports Forum. It is myself and the Sobri boys who are the Fatsi. Today I've got almost the entire compliment. <laughs> Guess we've got Sheikh Mangoba Gwenya is here with us. We've got Saddam <clears throat> is here with us. The only Brazilian in our team, Tabinho, is here with us. Sheikhs, welcome to the show. Kindly greet the viewers. Uh, thanks for having me on the show, Prasobri, and uh, greetings to Amakosi there, Saddam, and uh, the mighty Pakhaniyas, uh, Pratabinu. Amakosi, actually, I'm sorry, there is good news for Amakosi. <laughs> uh, welcome, Hello. welcome. Yeah? Now let's go. Uh, Tabinho, welcome to the show. Thank you, Brasobri, and greetings to uh, the viewers. So, Tabole Mola's Cotinsao. Cotinsao, get a much of the Atlantic. Yeah, I am more. Saddam won't stop me. I mean, I... I'm in the office today, so I'm going. No, there. they don't. Run, they don't run the fence. They run the fence. <laughs> so when I get I'm there, not a just, fan. Nagetagile contingent. Yeah. I'm going there as part of the sponsorship leadership. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> uh, Chovicho. I'm behind the brand, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chovicho, how's it, my brother? Welcome to the show. Yeah. Uh, thanks, hello, Shakey and Tan. Tabiso day yourself or say hello. Uh, now you can I can meet you there, no problem. Uh, you are a homeboy, you can see the judges, no problem. You are not a supporter, you are a member. You can come there, it's not a problem. As long as you know the JC that is gonna be playing, but end of the day, the JC is not playing, it's the players. Thank you. But Saram, it's unfair. What the bar defenses get uh the Marwenota will it uh when I let her be. Hey, this is not good. I'm not going to win. I'm not i Guys, uh, thank you very much for making the time to be here. Um, we are trying our best. It's cold, man. I can see Jay's, uh, uh, Shakes is on a jacket, and then uh, Tabinho is on a My two I'm on a jacket. I see that Saddam also uh, is on a jacket. Mm -hmm. Guys, uh, before we go any further, let me just indicate that Cape Town um, City, they've unveiled their jersey. And then I've shown uh, one uh, the other pair that they were unveiling. It was uh, last week. So um, I'm going to show you another one uh, so that you see uh, how things are going. And then also Amatax, uh, they also unveiled their jersey. And then uh, today, Kaiser Chiefs will be unveiling their jersey. And then uh, we know that they were in um, Tanzania, but they didn't use their official jersey. Instead, they were using um, what you call. They were using um, the 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 the, the, <clears throat> the the training kit. So now we'll be seeing the jersey. We'll watch the space very very closely. Uh, let me just check, as I indicated. Here is the jersey for uh, Cape Town City, and then there is my 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 kit there. And I thought that uh, uh, Pirates were going to snap him or Mamelodi Sundowns. It looks like he, he's fine at Cape Town. So we'll watch the space and see what's going to happen. And then uh, Amatax 2, they have already uh, unveiled their jersey. And then as you can see there, this is the jersey for Amatax. And then Amatax said uh, they're doing well. And then, um, you know, uh, we'll see what's going to happen. And then uh, what's your take about this jersey, uh, Mshaga? Oh, well... Uh... With Cape Town City, I, I trust them. I think mm -hmm. they've got that uh, style, you know, uh, everything they do, even the way they dress uh, 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 before their games. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the kids in action. Uh, looks good from here. Mm -hmm. And I'm a Dutch 
good, nice, tight fit, mm. you know, and uh, also very professionally run team yeah. and uh, very ambitious. You can say it again, you know, I'm at uh, Keton City, they're well, well organized, they, are, they run very professionally. Now, don't forget that we have our game, Saddam. Uh, here is uh, Power Rico, here is Power here, and Panyaza. Here he doesn't wear the cap of a premier. <laughs> here is Panyaza and, 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 and Power Rico here. And then, uh, yeah. And then um, Shege will go to the finals and go and watch what's happening there. And then, um, yeah, uh, those are the games. I'm just going to give you the, the results as far as Power Rico. Mshaga, what do you wanted to say? I'm saying myself and you and Tabinho and then uh, Saddam uh, on the finals. Let's go, guys, and and support uh, the power record. What are you saying, Mshaga? No, oh, definitely, Pastor. It would be nice to go and support uh, uh, local football, Catholic football. You know, you see a lot of flair in those games. You see. Uh, the, the dribbling wizards, uh, which which we, we all enjoy, the flair. Uh, it, it epitomizes what South African football is about. So uh, definitely we must go and enjoy and watch that game. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, we still have to get your games. I know that there are your games that we need to watch. So yeah, we will talk about that going forward. Now, um, here are the results. Uh, the last eight. Umlilo, they played 0-0, team of choice. Umlilo went through uh, to the semifinals by beating a team of choice 5-5-4. And then um, Aifuni Wena, they lost to Ama 2000, 1-0, Liverpool. And then uh, they also lost to Rankase 2-1, uh, Giant Reef. Uh, they also lost to Spain uh, uh, FC through penalties. So now, yeah, they are moving to the semifinals. So they are doing uh, exceptionally well. Um, we wish them good luck. The crowd is there. And then it's so nice. This is some of the people who are attending the games. And then uh, as you also can see, uh, Panyaza together with uh, uh, Power Rico. These are the people. Um, and then this is uh, Fanny Madide together with Power Rico. And then uh, they are organizing the games. Now, let's discuss the issue. Um, we know that uh, Ayanda Zamini did not play. And then Bafana Bafana, they didn't win, they lost. So they are going to the next uh, game. So we'll see what's going to happen. People are wondering what happened. But uh, yeah, so there are so many news uh, that we pick up. Apparently, she was benched as a form of punishment. It was indicated that uh, she was behind the people who were, um, you know, um, against what you call, or they were the perpetrators of what was happening. So, yeah, let's talk about that. Mshege, during your time, something like this, did it happen? Uh, <clears throat> yes, Prasob, you know, it's one of those unfortunate things. Um, uh, when you have to stand up for yourself, you know, and uh, and and you, you you get victimized. But I'm not saying that this is the situation here. I'm not sure what the situation here is, because uh, also you must you must know Prasobri that we mm -hmm. can say a lot of things here. But mm -hmm. uh, the coach, uh, the training camp with the players, he knows when they're mentally ready. Mm. And he knows uh, something maybe that we don't know, mm. but uh, mm. obviously the news surfacing is, is, is that she 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 was part of that the 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 the, the group who was striking and and yeah it's just unfortunate uh, that that uh, things are still happening uh, this way with, with with our association you know because mm. the girls should should not even be thinking about uh, the money, you know, they should be uh, focusing on the game. It's difficult as it is for them playing all those 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 ladies, tall ladies mm, from, mm. From, Sweden, from Sweden, you know, from, 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 from Sweden. So they should be just focused on on, on, on the game and, and not this outside of the field shenanigans. But uh, it was not uh, unique because we, 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 we hear the news that also the Nigerian uh, players and the English players uh, also they were you know fighting for their bonuses. So it's unique. It's not unique. 
And then, um, I don't know, Tabinho, what's your take uh, in terms of these things happen? Um, do the leadership in football have to look at themselves now and start doing something? Tabinho? Yeah, I thought I was on mute. Um, okay. Look, uh, for, for me, if, 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 you know, reports are anything to go by, I, mm -hmm. I, I think it's, it's unfortunate that, you know, people have personalized national teams. It's national teams. So mm -hmm. if, if a player feels that, you know, it's her right and, you know, she deserves to get those bonuses, let the bonuses mm -hmm. be paid. But if, 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 if the bonuses are net, not paid and she stand up for her rights, mm -hmm. then she shouldn't be punished. You know, mm -hmm. for standing up for for their rights. I mean, we live in a democratic democratic country. Mm -hmm. um, it's a democratic right to, to mm -hmm. you know to fight for what's rightfully has. Mm -hmm. um, it, 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 it's unfortunate that you know um, our leadership, you know, are, are, are siding with the coach. Um, because, you know, in other countries, I think Desiree would have been shown the door by now. Mm -hmm. you, ca you, 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 you can't take a good man down. Um, mm -hmm. You can't bench a good player because, you know, she was fighting for her rights. It's mm -hmm. her rights, mm -hmm. and they should be respected. Mm -hmm. We need to address mm -hmm. these things in, 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 a, in a proper manner. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. that says a lot about Desiree's leadership qualities to bench a player for fighting for her rights. I think mm. it was totally wrong. Mm. Um, people have personalized the national team. They've made it their own. So, mm. you know, they use it to punish certain players. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, Jovicho, you are part of uh, leadership uh, on the side of uh, supporters. Uh, what's your take? Yeah, uh, to me, I'm not going to say much because... It happened at Mali, I was there in 2002 when we played AFCON. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the issue of uh, Benny Marquesi and others. It comes the way the similar issue, but now for me, I, I can't say anything. Uh, I'd like to say you can continue, guys. Uh, let's watch uh, the game against Argentina on Friday, 2 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and then maybe something can happen. Let's wish them to go for the group stage. But about that issue, uh, coach and, and uh, president, they need not done the sort it out. Let's, wait, let's wish them a good luck to win the two remaining games. Okay, let's let's move on because those are some of the things that happen in terms of our football. They are playing Argentina. Uh, guys, having watched the game of Banyana Banyana, do you really think that they can come back? Let's start with you, Sada. Yeah, I think uh, when I see the game that they play, it's just a lack of experience. And then after they score goals, they have to defend, and it was not good. But uh, things can happen. Miracle can happen. There are two games. Maybe it's a wake-up call to lose against today. Because if you can see that one new, uh, uh, goal, it was going to give us a big name and mileage after... We saw 2010 when Chavala scored the first goal, mm -hmm. and then we draw 1-1. One -one. If, if the score was 1-0 or 1-1, one -one, mm -hmm. then we were going to talk about the first lady to score, the first country to score the goal. But because we lost, it takes mm -hmm. it down. But I still have a 75% that something can happen. Maybe they went to the uh, boardroom to sit down and check what they can fix it. So mm -hmm. I think let's not... Uh, uh, undermine them. Let's pray for them to win than to be there for uh, the uh, uh, group stage. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. All right. Yes. Guys, let's move on. And we wish Banyana Banyana to do well. Uh, I want us to move to the story of um, uh, Kelly Mbappe. You know, apparently, I don't know whether should I call this a stalemate or what, Mbappe has not uh, uh, blink, you know. Um, the president said, "Look, uh, Nasser Al Khalif said you sign or you extend the contract or we sell you now." And then Madrid are saying nothing, and we know his wish is to go to Madrid. Um, but Al Al Hilal, um, who wanted to buy Messi, 
and then uh, they've offered to buy him. Okay. So, and then I don't know what to take. Let me hear your opinion. What do you think about what is happening in terms of Mbappe and 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 um, and PSG? Let me start with you, Tabino. What's your take? Look, um, yeah. for me, it's it's actually killing football. Number one, to put in so much money on one player. Uh, number two, it, it, it's actually killing the player himself um, because there would be too much expectation. And if he fails to deliver, then it becomes a problem. Um, I'll take you back to the days of Fernando Torres. I remember Fernando Torres. Chelsea bought Fernando Torres, I think, for 90 million pounds back then, which was a lot of money. And when he got to Chelsea, he, he, he didn't rise to the occasion. He didn't perform. And it was difficult for Chelsea to sell him because nobody wanted to buy Fernando Torres because he was expensive. Uh, form have dipped. We look at, you know, uh, Manchester United. They've got one of the most expensive defenders in, in Harry Maguire. <laughs> now, I don't have to tell you what Harry Maguire is doing to Manchester United. You know, Brasovic. Mm. Then who wants to buy Harry Maguire? Now, mm. the same situation would apply with Kylian Mbappe. You, you you can't be putting 200, how much is it? 200 million? No, 300, 300 million euros. 300 million euros on yeah. one player. Yeah. Now and... he gets to Al Hilal. Mm. What is the standard of football there? Is mm. he going to get exposure? Is he going to get, uh, you know, deep competition? Mm. Or is he just going to run and play alone? Because, you know, sometimes, you know, competition, you know, brings out the best in a player. Mm. So you can't be taking, uh, uh, you know, Mbappe to Al Hilal. That mm. that that would be the beginning of the end of his career. Yes, he would have money, but his career will come to an end sooner than expected. So I, th I think for me, you know, the the, the, the price is, they are pricing him out of the market. Mm. No, but um, Al Hilal have a different approach. I'll tell you what is their approach. Mushege, what's your take about this thing? Let's talk about Mbappe as a player. Is he worth this attention? Is he worth the money? Shaka? No, I don't know. I don't know if they, if you can put a, a, a money value, you know, that much money because it's crazy money what these guys are, are offering, you know. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, Mbappe, uh, mm. a quality player, you know, quick uh, mm. finisher. Mm. Yeah, he, he deserves the attention that he's getting. Uh, you could see him in, in the World Cup. He was a one-man show for France, you know. Mm -hmm. and so, a very quality player. It is, uh, me, I'm just disappointed now. All um, these players going to uh, Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. I heard so, um, that he's going there. And what a quality player. We won't see him in the top flight league anymore. So, uh, uh, the, the volume has gone down a little bit, Mshaga. Yes, but so we can I, hear know, I can hear you, yeah. Yes, I'm saying uh, uh, the likes of Mbappe, you want to see them at your top leagues, you know, competing for honours, competing for the best player in the world award. I don't think that's going to happen if he goes to, to, to Saudi Arabia for the money, you know. Uh, as a football player, you want to achieve the highest price, and, and that's the ball and draw, you know. And uh, I think Mbappe... Uh, it's got the potential to 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 have it, but if he goes and plays for that league and goes for the money, then the, the career is gone. Let me tell you what happened because maybe this information will 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 change your perception. This deal looks like a very brilliant deal. Uh, according to Fabrizio Romano, um, Ali Hilal uh, are offering. They've submitted a, a formal bid of 300 million uh, euros to PSG. Now listen to this, okay? And then it is believed that the offer that comprises of a one-year contract with a salary of 700 million euros, which is 13.9 billion in rents, would also allow him, this is Al Hila, will allow him to join his desired club uh, his desired club, Real Madrid, for free in June 2024. Do you get that? He's going to Alila for that one season 
for 300 and then he's going to get that money that he's going to get 2024 he'll be allowed to join real madrid so are you changing your perception now yeah, no now 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 let's put it like that but now the volume has, the volume has gone down again okay i'm checking <laughs> Now that you put it like that, it, it makes sense. It's an escape route of some sort. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, that's where we want to see Mbappe playing in the in mm -hmm. the biggest leagues, in the biggest teams. You know, competing amongst the best because mm -hmm. he's definitely one of the best. Uh, Saddam, what would you say if you are advising Mbappe? They give him thirteen point nine million uh, billion rand. And then the following year, he joined the team of his choice. Yeah, to me, I think uh, it's a good move. It's a good choice. Uh, mm. I just want to say something. You know, soccer now is a business. Mm. Mm. Uh, you take the team, you take the players, mm. you take the stakeholders, mm. and then you including the agent. Mm. They're making the money. Mm, we are mm. South they can make water, water wise like this. It's still the same like it's happening here in South Africa. We know mm. what is happening. Mm, but mm. I think he must get what you get, and mm. then he deserves to get it as a player. Mm. But talent, mm. he's can do he's still young, he mm. can continue. Let him make money. If the mm. team wants him, then he must go there. If the money is there, he must grab the money. If the chance is there, he must play and then make the money. Okay, let's move on, guys. Uh, Lionel Messi played his first game uh, for uh, Inter Miami. Uh, I don't know whether you saw uh, the footage of what happened, especially the free kick. Uh, you know, uh, it was it was a masterclass. The people were there. You know, this brand is so huge. You had people like LeBron there, Serena Williams there. These are influential people. Uh, people like um, um, the Kardashian, um, she, she was there. And then, you know, people were there, you know, those people, probably, you know, they were moving the mountains. And then uh, on top of uh, that, he, he put the, the performance that he, he gave. And then I watched the game. I really enjoyed the game. You know, I, I'm already now watching the MLS now. <laughs> Tavinho, I'm now watching that game now. All right? I'm watching those games. So, um, nice. this is uh, this is uh, what the guys were saying. LeBron, uh, Ray Hudson, we know Ray Hudson, uh, you know, um, idolized Lionel Messi. I like what Inter Miami, too, they say imaginate. They call it an imaginate, the way things were done. So uh, I'll go thus far as far as uh, the Messi special today because I'm a little bit worried about time. The time is already against us. But let me give you the stats and then so that you guys can comment. He played only 36 uh, minutes. He scored one goal. He created one chance, 92% accurate passes, and uh, five passes into the final third. And then the overall uh, percentage, it's 8.0%. Uh, eight out of ten in terms of the ratings, and then uh, yeah, what do you want to say, guys? Mshege, come in. Yeah. Mshege. All right, Saram, come in in the meter. Yeah, uh, I watched the game. Yes, yeah, yeah. so that was a marvelous, especially front of this heroes and aircon on the day. Mm. Just imagine that goal comes in the 93 minutes, not 93, 94 minutes, mm, mm. then when, they, when he, he scored the goal. It was Even the last the kick. It was the yeah, last the kick. Last kick. Yeah. Even the, the commentator couldn't speak. I said to myself, Messi was a serial killer on that day. Mm, he mm. scored the magic, the fantastic magic feat, and then that was a marvelous to watch. I was so surprised to score that goal in that time. Mm. It kills people because... Mm. Uh, just imagine uh, who was they mm. that you mentioned, the yeah. aircon, the hero, mm. the masters. Mm. Everyone was watching that bad. Even David, even it, David Beckham himself, the, yeah, the man who mastered the free kick. Let me come in, Mshege, come in, uh, so that we move on. I'm worried about time. Mshege, what's your take? Yes, yes for yeah. um, uh, we, we saw Messi's debut and uh, uh, he's the Messiah, uh, mm. Brasov. I think mm. that's the chosen. 
one, you know. Mm. I mean, uh, Inter Miami had not won a game in like six games. In mm. comes the Messiah. Last mm. minute of the game, he does that, what he, mm. he, he, he mm. does, you know. And mm. it makes it so easy. And it's just quality. And uh, we're lucky to have watched a player like him. Okay, Tabinho, uh, I want you to come in and tell me what's your take. In the interest of time, Brasobri, I think I think my colleagues they have covered enough. They have said enough. What really, yeah, what really excites me, and 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 I see, you know, um, the the whole panel ignores that is that you know we have South African player in Jabulo Blom, mm, and mm. Uh, Keshas Baloya is on his way to MLS. Look, these boys will be privileged and honored to have played, you know, with Messi against Messi alongside Messi. So, uh, mm. you know, for me, that really excites me a lot. Mm. That, you know, mm. Mm. To, you know, to write history and say we once played against Messi. Mm. Um, mm. I'll leave it there. I'll tell you one thing before I leave. I'll always do this one, <clears throat> Ronaldo and Messi. Now, sh- let me show you something. Ronaldo's first game for Madrid was a penalty. Ronaldo's first game, <clears throat> first goal for Juventus was a penalty. Ronaldo's first goal for Al... NASA was a penalty. Messi's first goal for Baca, it was a chip. Remember that chip? And then Messi's first goal for PSG, outside the box. Messi's first goal for Inter Miami, free kick. So I wanted to show you that uh, because I'll always bring that. Now the Ballon d'Or is already heating up. Uh, we know that there's comparison between Messi and uh, um, um, Halat. And then for me, you know what, Messi should take this one. There's no debate about it. And then, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you that. You can see when Messi was 19 and then uh, the first championship uh, uh, league for Baca, Messi was 21 when he won the, uh, the, the Olympic medal. Messi was 21 years when he won his second championship with Baca. 22 when he won the Ballon d'Or FIFA player of uh, of the year, the award, and uh, Halat 22. I am um, okay now. T- Halat is at 22 now. The question is, are you really thinking that he will replace Lionel Messi? So that's it. And then uh, down here, you can see our website. And then uh, if you can follow us, remember a financial company. And as I always currently, we are busy with those people who are going on pension and then they want to leave, they are not yet at 60 and remember when they are 60 that's when only gpf will allow them to go on pension if you go earlier then be punished or you'll be penalized uh, and then now we'll show you how to do it so that you are not penalized even a cent not only that we also minimize on the taxation check it let's be the viewers farewell and then uh, thank you very much for coming Thank you very much, Dr. Uh, Mshege, uh, I guess I don't know his sound answer. Thank you, uh, uh, Dr. Sobri, and thank you the viewers for joining us. Uh, thank you, Saddam and Tabino. Thank you. Thanks, Mshege. And then, uh, Saddam, thank you very much. Be the yeah, viewers farewell. Yeah, thank you, Tabino, Sobri, and Sheikh. We'll see you less. Uh, See the Kappa trending number one today. You'll be on the top. <laughs> so I've been always jumping a little bit, uh, Tabinho. Tabinho. Uh, thank you for 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 a good show, Brasobri. Yeah. And one thing I need to 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 mention and highlight. Yeah. You know, uh, my names are Tabo Benedict Ramo Happy. So to yeah. cut it short, it's TBR. So this is my show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Jump him too. Just take pictures with the chief's fans and then show him that. <laughs> with the chief players. Yeah. Uh, 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 Tabinio must go there with security. He must be careful. <laughs> <laughs> you're warned. You're warned. Thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. <laughs>